my name's Andrew Hoffman, and Abby Hoffman was my father. I'm uh, his oldest son. My younger brother is America. I was at the Chicago 7 trial when I was nine years old, and I saw what they were doing to Bobby Seale, and I very much identified with Bobby Seale and with the ideas and ideals of the Black Panthers. And so, as a young Jewish boy living in Cambridge, Massachusetts, I became a Black Panther and I raised money with a can in Harvard Square and guys would come up to me and say, what's your little white boy doing raising money for the Black Panther Party? And I'd say, Bobby Seale's a friend of mine and I want to help get him out of jail. And I explain about the trial and then my dad and they would say, I'm giving you a dollar because I love your spirit. It was just a great moment in my personal and in history. And, uh, many times after that I saw Bobby Seale over the years and I would always embrace him and treat him like he was my father's brother, like he was my uncle. I felt like he was my uncle. I felt that way about all of those people who were involved with that trial and with the movement the, the, um, and the Vietnam War movement and the civil rights movement of the time. Wow, I, I think it's amazing and um, be very uh, happy to hear what Bob has to say and what the, the vision for communism in America is. I have great hopes and dreams for America and social activity and socialism and my kids, Abby's grandchildren, and I think that the world is going to be a better place for them and that they're going to help make it a better place and that socialism has a lot to do with it and that uh, there has to be a, a more fair and just society and there will be. There will be. I definitely think Abby would want to come and I think that Abby would be as much a part of the movement now as he was. And I really am sad that he's not here. But we're here and we're gonna carry on. And we're gonna be strong with his spirit.